Right, so this is my first book review. <laughs> that made a mess, you can't see what's down here, but my floor is completely covered in party poppers now, so that's always a good thing. Anyways, like I said, this is the first time I've made a video review of a book. And funnily enough, this is for a school project, so I guess I'm still yet to make a book review by choice. But you know what? If I hadn't have had to do this project, I wouldn't have read this. It's Professor Stewart's Cabinet of Mathematical Curiosities, and it's excellent. This book is essentially an amalgamation. Am I using that word correctly? It's an amalgamation of puzzles, challenges, and interesting ideas that Ian Stewart has been collecting in his notebook since he was 14. And I already know that I couldn't be on the same level as this guy because I'm currently 16. And I couldn't figure out half the things he had to say in this thing. So my collection is made up of things that aren't found in the school curriculum. Stuart goes as far as saying that if you don't enjoy maths at school, you might still enjoy the book because it's just interesting stuff. It's not necessarily quadratic equations and all the other stuff that no one really likes to do. So of the book's 182 items, my favourite would have to be the anecdote about legislating the value of pi. And it blew my mind that it almost happened in the state of Indiana in 1897. The state legislator tried to define a new mathematical truth in the eyes of the law. The most important part of this bill was the value of pi. The value of pi, as most of us know, is the length of the circumference of a circle divided by the diameter of the circle. So for example, if the diameter of the circle was 1, the circumference Conference would be 3.14159265, you know, pi. Some say, oh. <coughs> Some say that they tried to make the value of pi exactly free, which probably would annoy some people watching this right now. Others say they wanted to make it 22 over 7, which is a little more reasonable, but is still ridiculous. Is everybody going cray cray? Either way, the legal value of pi minus the mathematical value of pi would equal 1 mathematically and 0 legally. This meant in the eyes of the law, 1 equals 0. So if a person committed 1 murder, they could say that they committed 0 murders. If you extrapolated that further, you'd find that if a person was arrested carrying $0 worth of drugs, street value, they would also be carrying $1 million worth of drugs. And nowadays, they could receive a 25-year prison sentence, which is the minimum sentence for that kind of drug possession in the state of Indiana, and be put in prison for exactly zero years. I thought that was bloody fascinating when I read that the first time, as with a lot of the other things in this book. So if this video has at all interested you, I would definitely recommend reading this book, because I found it particularly interesting. And I imagine you would too. Yo, all I need is just a snippet of the orchestra And now we rockin' levers and my team is dipping Porsches Trained in special forces, I remain the same Modeling the rugby with the horses on it I'm looking gorgeous on it Unlike Gallup, the suit is seared sucker like a scallop Cop the land and over time you see the price pile up My lifestyle, the dream of money though, we feel nostalgic It's sunny skies and good karma that keep the cheese surrounded